please check out the description box for everything I've used yeah everything check out the description box so hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today I'm going to show you how you can slick this hair slick it slick 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 so yeah I know Sahi it looks weird and everything but it's going to be looking perfect so to start off you're going to need this this is water what we're going to do is we are spritzing it at the perimeter of our hair next I'm just going to lightly pick I'm just going to lightly pick pick it so that it's big let me just call it big so first of all this is a bantu knot this is an old bantu knot and this is how it looks yeah so I'm just going to pick so that it's big we're trying to give the illusion that our hair is our short hair is big right so next we are going to go in with the gel this is the tempro gel just apply a generous amount generous uskwem kaziaji apply a generous amount so we're just applying a generous amount all through the perimeter and then it's also important like don't damp don't wet your hair make it slightly damp just slightly damp so i'm just applying the back like all through look at this hair i'm telling you guys this gel is the bomb i've never seen such a gel in my life so yeah, as i said in my previous video in my previous slicking down hair video like this gel is just bomb so next you're going in with this brush I'm just going to brush all through because we are going to make a high puff so let's just brush it look at the waves look at the waves wow <laughs> so like once you're content with that once you're like content with how it looks and you feel like you've brushed it enough and you feel like that is good enough you're going in with Mguyakaya stocking Mguya stocking you can use a shoelace but I usually feel like a shoelace gives me a headache so after tying it you're just going to pull it through So like you just tie and yeah that's it so basically depending on how you want your hair to look like I, I'm usually content with it looking like this but you can go further and define your baby hair to how you want so you just add in some extra gel so just add some gel and then go in with your toothbrush Like be generous with this gel by the way. Uskazie. So just comb the way you want it to go. Like if you want some wave and the brows So we are going to stay with this for like 10 minutes and now 10 minutes has passed. So I'm taking it off and are you ready? edges on flick so anyway let's work haraka so i'm just going to take care of this part this is living this is the aunt jackie moisture intense conditioner living if you follow me on instagram then you remember that i mentioned i got this from super cosmetics they had an offer so i'm just applying a small amount if you don't so like a review of this aunt jackie just leave a comment and i'll see what i can do so i'm just taking care of these ends yeah 
You cut your own little knife. And then I go in with olive oil mixed with castor oil. A generous amount because you want to apply all over your hair. You apply it gently so that you don't disturb the scars. Okay, my edges are looking nice. So yeah, anyway, you apply everywhere, especially here. The reason I applied the leave-in here is because I don't want my hair to like dry out and everything. So next you're just going to pick pick the puff so that it's it looks good. It looks presentable basically. So you know at the end of the day this tutorial is for those who have like short hair. So the trick is you want to give the illusion that your puff is as big as it's practically possible. So yeah, that is it. I think like it looks good. So yeah, that's basically it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, share with a friend, leave a comment, and if you happen to try out this style, don't forget to tag me on my Instagram at Nyele Chronicles or post it on my page, my Facebook page, Nyele Chronicles. So I'll see you again next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.